Give him the praise. We ought to give him the highest praise of hallelujah. Tell the Lord thank you for watching over us. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you, Lord, for your son Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for all of you who are able to tune in today. Uh, I pray that we have a little something to uplift you. And more importantly, most importantly, uh, help me lift up the name of Jesus together. Uh, so, Father God, we thank you. We love you. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray the Holy Ghost is our witness. As we go into his word, everybody say amen, amen, and amen. Greetings to you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of God our Father, his Son, Jesus, his Holy Spirit, uh, look, I pray that everybody was truly blessed with the Word of God on yesterday. If you went to church, and if you attended church and you got the opportunity to sit under some good preaching, I pray that you put everything out the way and just focus in on Jesus. Meditate on Him. Hey, look, uh, uh, all of us come together in corporate worship to to help uplift the name of Jesus and to to, to to encourage our brothers and our sisters. So um, I pray wherever you attended church yesterday, you got the message that God had just for you. Hallelujah. Uh, welcome to 7-Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, CL Champion, pastor of Mount Mary Missionary Baptist Church down in the great big old city of Sasser, Georgia, where we have in-person worship every second and fourth Sunday in the sanctuary. That's right, yesterday. If you didn't get there yesterday, who Lord. Um, <laughs> the purpose of this broadcast is just to spread the gospel of Jesus as far and wide as we can possibly do it so that uh, uh, there is no reason why anybody should be able to say, I didn't know about Jesus. So uh, let's, let's do our part. Let's spread the gospel. And if you can't spread the gospel, grab them by the hand and bring them on to God's house. Right, and 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 uh, and and uh, uh, the whole church, really, hey, the Holy Spirit minister to them. Now, let me let me get on my topic here. Uh, time is ticking already. So today is Monday, the twelfth of September. We're almost halfway through September already. This week's topic will be I won't let go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If you was in Sunday school yesterday, oh my goodness. But uh, turn with me in your Bible to the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verses 22 through 26, where we find the following recorded. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his 11 sons and passed over the four Jabok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. In other words, all his possessions. And Jacob was left alone, and there he wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched, <coughs> excuse me, he touched the hollow, <coughs> excuse me, of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go. Except thou bless me. <coughs> Hallelujah. Excuse me. God's word for God's people. Huh? I, I want to tell you our topic today, this week. I won't let go. So just a little something to get the week started. Consider this. There was a picture of a frog. <clears throat> and he was being swallowed by uh, a, a swan or a stork. And the picture had the frog's head in the stork's mouth, but outside of the stork's mouth, the frog had his hands wrapped around the stork's neck, choking him. And, and the caption read, 
never give up. Now, the way giving up presents itself is the letting go of your foothold or your, your thought processes on a given subject, or even in the case of your religious beliefs. So I prayerfully hope that you will insist in your spirit and with your mouth, I won't let go. This passage of scripture records Jacob preparing to meet at long last with his brother Esau, whom he had cheated out of his birthright. And then he, once Esau realized what was going on, he decided he was going to kill him. And so he ran. His mama sent him off. He ran. And all this time has passed. And Esau, excuse me, Jacob then gathered a family and everything. And he coming back and he's trying to reconcile with his brother. He wants to know if his brother is still going to kill him. And we ain't talking about playing around like what we say, oh, I'm, I'm going to kill him. No, no, no. It wasn't, this was no joke. This was the real deal. We talking actual death. So, um, Jacob sent his family away with all of his possessions. Oh, but when God is on your side, mm, 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 watch out that man. So, uh, it says in the scripture that he wound up wrestling with a man. The man was actually uh, an angel of the, of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit uh, came to visit him. And so now he went ahead and he wrestling with the angel all night long. This, at the, my baby's at church saying, they say, uh, uh, Jacob was wrestling with the angels all night long. Said he wouldn't let go until the break of dawn. Said you got to bless me before you leave. So, uh, so anyway, as dawn was approaching, the man told Jacob, hey, let me go. And Jacob said, I ain't going to let you go until you bless me. And I would imagine that's where some people get the acronym PUSH from. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. So like Jacob, I won't let go. I pray you don't let go until the Lord bless you. Now, uh, uh, and even then, once he blessed me, I have to break out with, oh, no, I won't let go. I'm just holding on and I won't let go my faith. Let go my faith. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember the day and I remember the hour. Let me quit. <laughs> Look at here. Um, Praise God. <laughs> Merciful Father, we thank you right now for a life, health, and strength being such that it is. Thank you, Lord, for your son Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word, which is alive, well, and kicking, Lord. Here to, to, uh, to give us guidance, here to get us in line so that we'll be in line with your word. Father, we ask that you please continue to draw us closer unto you and continue to guide each and every one of our footsteps. And Father God, we'll be ever so mindful to give you all the praise and all the glory. And Lord, when the time must come, when you call the roll and we have to answer and we got to lay down our battle shield and stick our sword in the sand. Father, we pray we will have done something pleasing in your eyesight that you might call us on home to rest a while. Or we can thus around the song and sing songs of Zion under you forevermore. This we pray in the mighty name of your son Jesus and the Holy Ghost is our witness. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And amen. I am so excited about this week uh, topic, uh, the, the, the actual lesson. Uh, God has given me a couple different things to focus on. I'm going to try my best. We had nine minutes. I know it's a seven minute kingdom building. Sometimes you just got to sit back and let the Holy Ghost have his way. Scripture say, quench not the Holy Spirit. God bless you. God keep you. We love you. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. God bless you. Share this message with somebody. Holding on and I won't let